Okay, wonderful. Well, hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ellie Garrity. I'm the Director of Alumni Career Programs at the University of Maryland's Alumni Association. And um, happy Career Week and happy Friday, most importantly. Um, today's the last day of Career Week, and I'm so glad you were able to join us for today's event, um, where we're going to be talking about Terrapins Connect, which is the UMD's exclusive online networking and mentoring platform. So as you can see, I already have things up and ready to go on the platform and, and we'll spend the next maybe 60 minutes, 45 to 60 minutes, really just walking through the platform, answering any questions that you have about, about the platform, making sure you can really use this platform to the best of your ability. So before we get started, feel free to just start chiming in in the chat uh, what your comfort level is with Terrapins Connect. I don't have a poll, but you can just chat in like I have a profile or what is Terrapins Connect? I'm not sure. Um, just let me know what your comfort level is on the platform. But I promise to walk us through all the steps of how how to use it, um, how to use it to the best of its ability. So I have a profile. I'm not sure how to use it to its biggest potential. Wonderful. So glad you came. We can definitely talk through that. I've never used it. I love that. Thanks, William, for being there. Oh, Joan, you too. That's awesome. Not sure how to use it. Great. What is it? I'm new to this. I have a profile. Okay. This is fabulous. Probably have heard of it, but never used it. Okay. So you came to the right place on Friday morning. Um, so we're going to talk through this and I will just say quick caveat. If you don't have a profile yet um, and you want to make one while we're on this call together, um, that's completely fine. I won't be able to approve your account until after the session is over, but I'll make sure to, to scroll through the names and, and make sure I approve your account right away. So um, if you have, you know, an account, you can put it on your screen and walk through some of the things I'm doing right now and show you, um, or you can just kind of watch while, while I go through some of this. Um, oh, hi, Veronica. Monica, thank you so much. Oh, we have um, a special, special UMD staff member here. She honestly knows a lot, maybe just as much as I do on the platform. So feel free to chime in, Veronica, at any time. Okay, so we are just going to get started on the homepage. Um, a little background about, um, Veronica is the best, I agree. Um, so a little bit about Terrapins Connect. So it sounds like some of you have heard of the platform itself. So I'll just give a little bit of background, um, probably about five or six years ago, the Alumni Association realized that, um, you know, one of the things that Terps want to do with each other is connect and network and get help finding jobs and network with other Terps and, you know, potentially find leads in their career. And of course, LinkedIn is a place that everybody goes to for, for that, right? Um, but the Alumni Association wanted an exclusive space for Terps to connect, a space where Terps have opted in and said, I am here to connect with not just other alumni, but also students who are at the university who might want to chat with an alum um, for a mentorship opportunity. So therein lies how Terrapins Connect came on board. Um, as of right now, we have about 12,000 users on the platform, and um, it's pretty much a 30-70 split, 70% alumni, 30% students on the platform. So as an alum, you kind of have a couple different options on the platform in terms of engagement. You can, one, join the platform if you want to connect with students. So if you're saying, you know, I'm at a spot in my career where I feel great and I'm actually, I really want to give back to my fellow Terps, you can join the platform to connect with maybe some younger alumni or some alum who are newer in their career and you can connect with them and, and share your expertise with them. Or you can connect with students who are saying, you know, I don't even know what's out there in the big world of, um, you know, the big job world. And, and I want to connect with an alum that way. Or maybe you're here because you're looking for a new job opportunity or you're looking to hire someone or, you know, you're looking to continue to network with your fellow Terps. That's a great reason to be on the platform as well. So I'm going to walk through the platform. Please, I see um, folks have already been using the chat, which is wonderful, but feel free to use the chat and stop me at any time as I walk through the platform. So I'm really going to take it from the beginning here and go to the homepage. So terrapinsconnect.umd.edu. That's how we get onto the platform. And when you get there, you'll see um, these options to sign in. And just even taking one step back at the homepage, um, if you ever want to just learn more, I know some of you said, what is Terrapins Connect? I don't know a lot about it. The 
The homepage has um, a lot of great information about why you would join the community, um, specifically for alumni and for students. Um, it also shows a list of recently active members. This is always changing um, and then has some frequently asked questions down here. So again, if um, you can't access this recording or you don't remember anything or sorry, you don't remember everything after this conversation, um, you can always check just the general web page. So I'm going to sign in because I already have an account. Um, if we have any students or faculty or staff on the call, you are always welcome to use the single sign on. That's just a way that um, that's just a, a system that we use to log on with our credentials. But anyone else can choose one of these three options. Um, LinkedIn, I would definitely recommend doing because this will sync your entire LinkedIn account. So you do not have to go in and say, you know, from 1992 to 1996, I was doing X. It'll just completely sync all of your information and it'll also auto update any changes to your LinkedIn profile. So um, I always recommend that route. Never seen anyone do it with their Facebook, but the option is there if you'd like. But for the purposes of this conversation, I am just going to use my email address um, since I already have an account and let's all hope that I can get in with the right password. Okay. So this is going to look wonky for a second. I'm just going to X out of this. This is that was just my admin account. So let me take you to my general account. Um, let's see. Am I on as a student or am I on as an alum? Um, I think I'm in my alumni profile. So this is the homepage that you'll see um, on Terrapins Connect. This is kind of your insider's scoop to the platform itself. If you wanted to go directly to your profile, you just click your name right here and it would take you to your profile. Um, you can update your profile picture. You can put something just like LinkedIn. You can have a picture back here um, and then it'll scroll through all the information that I have uploaded um, about myself and um, through LinkedIn. So I'll go back to this in a second. I just wanted to show you. So this is the home screen um, that you'll find. So a couple of things that are important that I think um, are important from the alumni perspective, you are going to want to spend some time over here in the preferences section. So um, a, a lot of I get a lot of feedback from alum about, you know, I don't want to get too many emails. I get a little bogged down with emails or just like communication. So Terrapins Connect, I will say, will send you emails when you sign up. But if you go into my preferences, this is where you can really manage the platform and how often you hear from them. So first thing you see here is notifications. You can link a phone number. So I do have some alum who tell me, oh, Ellie, I love Terrapins Connect. I get um, messages right to my phone. If a student messages me on the platform, I get it to my phone. I respond via text message and it's, it's really simple for me. Now, I know that's not the um, most ideal option for everyone, but that is an option here if you would like to connect your phone. Um, so down here, you'll see um, if you include your phone number, um, you'll have the option to get notifications via your phone as well. But you can see that um, between all the different types of messages the platform can send you, um, you can choose how you'd like to receive those messages. So things you can opt in and out of include like a newsletter, the discussion board that's on the platform that we'll talk through later, um, any groups that you're a part of, getting emails from that discussion board. So you can opt in and out of all of these emails if you'd like. Next thing is your privacy. Um, you, this is basically, I won't spend a lot of time here, but this is just who can reach out to you. Um, and you know, if you don't want others to know when you're online on the platform, you can change that as well. You can hide your profile, um, all those things. I'll, I'll let you as an individual kind of figure that out. The availability piece, this is, this is important. So um, once you're on the platform and your profile has been approved, um, students and alumni will be able to see your platform and reach out to you. Um, so you get to choose what your availability is. I always make the joke or joke that, you know, if Scott Plank makes a profile on Terrapins Connect um, and but he can only meet with one student at a time for the entire year, this is where he can say, I can only meet with one student on the first Tuesday in February. So if you go through here, um, you can pick how often um, people can reach out to you. So let me just see what was in the chat. What public what public pages for privacy? Oh, um, Ko, could you um, talk a little bit more about what that questions 
what that question means. I'm not sure I can. Um... Oh, sure. On the previous page where you had, you were on the privacy tab. Yes. Um, it says hide yourself from public pages. So is this, you're talking about Facebook and LinkedIn or what are you talking about there? Good, good question. No, just um, hiding you from um, the public pages, like, um, sorry, you can even see it here. So when I was at that landing page before I signed in, you know how there was something that said um, recent users that were engaged on the platform. Um, if you choose to hide yourself from there, then you would not be pulled into that. Or if not to get get a little too um, in the weeds, but if we were to have an API with our website where it pulled alum who graduated from, you know, Vsauce, um, mm -hmm. it would exclude you from that group. So if you don't feel comfortable with that going on either, oh, no. does that help? Yeah, it's totally what I needed to hear. Thanks. Oh, good. Okay. Um, so I won't spend too much time here. I know everyone can do this on your own, but please check out the availability. This is where you can, this won't look as um, intense for you. I'm a part of a lot of groups just because of my admin status, but um, based on you know what? How often you'd like to be contacted on the platform? You can you can access that here. Um, this account is just your information. You can delete your account at any time. Um, things like that. But the calendar. This is really kind of part two of setting your availability. You can sync your calendar, and we'll talk a little bit more about this when you're setting up conversations with people. Um, but. You know, you can sync any of the calendars that you have, your work calendar, your personal calendar, um, and then you can set your available hours. So as I mentioned, the Scott Plank or Kevin Plank wants to have one meeting on the third Tuesday in November, um, he can set that here. So if you wanted to say, you know what, Mondays I'm dedicating to connecting with my fellow Terps, you can set that here. So set available hours on Tuesday, you know, from nine to five any blackout dates, things like that. This is all for you to schedule. Um, the last piece in your preferences is the matching quiz. So this is how the platform's algorithm suggests um, folks for you to connect with and um, vice versa. Sorry, one sec, let me just make sure I'm enabling everything for folks. Okay, um, so for, it's just a couple simple questions. It asks you what area you're interested in meeting others in. For me, I have College Park here. And then what industries are you interested in? Um, so I have, I've diversified my profile a little bit. I have admissions and alumni relations and then IT. So you'll see when we go back to my homepage that the platform will pull folks that are local in College Park, have admissions and alumni relations background, and then also um, in the IT industry. So let me circle back to my homepage, um, but just a reminder to folks, if you just click on your profile picture in the top, that's where really you can spend a lot of your time um, making sure that the, the profile is set up to your expectations and your needs. So just on our home screen here, you can see I already have Hannah on, on my homepage as someone that the platform is recommending that I reach out to. Um, so, you know, before you even leave your homepage, you'll be able to see that I have multiple folks that the platform is saying, oh, you should reach out to um, Ian because he has admissions and alumni relations um, background. And so I can always just on, on the homepage, look through these folks. Um, and if I'm interested in connecting with any of them, I can immediately message them, but we won't, we won't go too far there because I just want to explain the rest of the homepage. You'll also see on the homepage, um, any connections that I've made. So any of the messages that I've sent between users. Um, and then you'll also see any jobs. We'll talk more about the job board, but we'll, um, you'll see any of the recent jobs that have been posted. You'll see things on the discussion board, and then you'll see the resources. These are all things that are pulled from our, our tabs up here, but it's just all on our landing page. So I will, so the point of being on the platform is, is to really connect with your fellow alumni or your fellow students. Now, as alum, I'm assuming everyone here is an alum. If, if you're not, feel free to chat and I can talk a little bit more from the student perspective as well, um, or faculty staff. Um, you know, the as an alum on the platform, I will say a big caveat is that when you join the platform, it's set up so that students can reach out to you 
but you can reach out to only alumni. So um, just for the safety of students, they are the ones that have to take the first step to connect with alum. So I have a lot of alum join the platform and say, well, you know, I can't connect with any students. That's something that we are working to empower them to do, um, to connect with you. And there are a couple of different things set up in the system to, to really get um, students active and engaged. But um, that is one caveat that I do like to share up front because um, a, a lot of folks join the platform to connect with students. And um, that is something that, you know, you will hear from students, but it's not something that you can see um on your screen so as i'm on my alumni profile i am only seeing um, other alumni so say i was interested in connecting with one of these folks let's see i got a question what's the reason for that thanks elaine is it eleni just want to make sure yeah eleni eleni okay thanks yeah. eleni um sure. so the reason it's honestly just a privacy piece people grove who powers um, Terrapins Connect just wanted to create a safe space for students to feel empowered to reach out to alum and make sure that the student was comfortable with reaching out to the alum um, before, you know, maybe an alum or two connected with them first. Um, I, I hope that clarifies a little bit. It can get a little tricky, um, but I think it was for the safety of the student and just, you know, wanting to make sure that the power was in the student's hand to reach out. Um, the only caveat to that, I will say, and we'll go more into this in a little bit, but um, there are groups that you can join based on affinity, industry, interest, and in a group setting, that's where you can connect directly with students. Um, if you're in a group with a student and you've been approved to be in that group with a student, then you can make a one-on-one -on -one connection with them. But in the greater platform itself, um, alum can connect um, and reach out to only alumni. But if you get a connection from a student, then absolutely that's where the conversation begins. Yeah, we can go to the groups then because sometimes we have internships or jobs. You know, we don't want to yes. like, we don't want to do anything but be helpful, I think. But I understand. Absolutely. That. Yes, that is the assumption that I also have. Um, but People Grove has kind of set that standard for, for the platform. Yes. So I just want to show kind of the basics of how to connect with someone on the platform. And obviously we can do that as easily as on my homepage right here. So say I see Nicole's platform or her profile. This is just a sneak peek of her profile. I can see when she graduated from Maryland. I can see where she currently resides. Um, and I can see we share our admissions and alumni relations background. So I can view her profile or I could just message her directly from here. So if I choose to just click and view her profile, um, I can read a little bit more about her. I mean, this isn't a surprise to many of you, I'm sure, because it looks somewhat similar to LinkedIn, um, but the platform pulls things that we have in common. So we both had degrees in psychology and we again have this experience right here. So I can read on about her and learn more. Um, but one, one area to stop at is uh, this here to help with. Um, this is what the alum, if you have a profile, this is something you've indicated as well. Some of the things that you're interested in helping other alumni or students with. So it's always good to take a look at this, you know, depending on what you might need or what you, you might be interested in, check out what these alum are saying that they want to help with as well. Um, and then these are the industries that she's indicated she's interested in. Um, so say I'm interested in connecting with her. I'll go ahead and just shoot her a message. And then I get to choose between two things, the long-term mentorship or just send a message or request a meeting. The long-term mentorship, I will say usually is reserved for students who are interested, who are, are nervous to connect with an alum that they're interested in talking to. Um, and, and this gives them kind of that first step in saying, hey, I'd really like to engage in a meaningful experience with you. Um, but I don't always recommend this option for alum. I usually just say, hey, send someone a quick message or request a meeting, try to find a time to chat with them. So if I just click here, You'll see we have a couple different templates. This can be really helpful for our students and maybe our younger alumni who are still just kind of learning, how do I send a message to someone that I don't necessarily know? So the platform has a couple different templates you can choose from, career exploration, if you're interested in expanding your network um, or reconnecting. Um, this is this one probably would make the most sense. I'm excited to see your profile. I'm a class of, I could put my class 
year. It pulls in where I graduated from. Um, could you share more about your experience since leaving the University of Maryland? So any of this is editable. So I can change all of this. Um, I can upload my resume. I can um, attach a file. I can link something. So all of this is editable and the platform will send you little messages to make sure that you're on track. Again, this might be more helpful for students, but I do like to show it to folks. Um, but if you don't want to use a template or anything, you know, you can just send a message. Um, you could just send a straight message, but you could also request a meeting. So if you're saying, hey, um, you know, I'm looking for people on the screen. So, hey, George, you know, I saw your profile. I see that you're working in X industry. I'd really love to chat with you for 30 minutes as I too am a chirp that, you know, yada yada graduated. Are you free next Tuesday? Request a meeting. If George has his calendar synced, I could say, oh, well, it looks like he's free. Um, I can set up a video call, something in person, potentially if we're in the same area or a phone call. Um, the video call, I will say, it's done through the platform. So you don't have to send a Zoom link. You don't have to do anything. Um, you sign onto the platform and you have the call through the platform. Um, so I, I would send that. I'd say, let's have a video call, George. I can select how long I'd like for it to go and then I'll request the meeting. I see there's something in the chat. So I just want to make sure that I address it before I move on. Um, oh no, I lost the chat. Hang on with me. Okay. Um, similar to LinkedIn, does Terrapins Connect notify if someone reviews their profile? Really great question. That was um, directly to me. So I don't think anyone else saw that one. So the question was, um, do you get notified if someone looks at your profile like LinkedIn? No, which I think is a benefit. I feel like sometimes we're a little like weary, like, oh no, I don't want you know, Jenny to see that I was checking out her profile before I messaged her if I'm job searching, but um, no. So you cannot, you do not get notified when folks look at your profile on Terrapins Connect. And then um, another question, how many people are on the network already? So about 12,000 folks on the platform and about 70% of that 12,000 are alumni. So, I'm still on this message. So say I want to, I'm messaging with Nicole. I went through that whole process. I'm not going to send this message to Nicole. Um, but just another thing on the side, when you are messaging her, all of her information shows up on the side. So you don't have to go back to her plat, her profile to say like, oh, I wanted to drop in a couple things about where you work and what you do. It all just pulls up right there for you. So I'm gonna X out of this back to profile. Make sure I don't send that another chat. Did you find Nicole from a search? or a group or notification that showed up on your page? Great question. Um, so Nicole came up to me on my homepage because of my responses to the matching quiz. So these are just people on my homepage that the platform is saying based on my algorithm that I could connect with. It's just an extra set of hands or you know, a, a second brain telling me, hey, nudge, nudge, maybe try Nicole. She seems like someone that you might have um, a reason to connect with. So I will go through how we find other alumni on the platform, but this is just something I wanted to show you all from my direct home page that I can immediately connect with someone from that page. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you about being on someone's page and, and kind of perusing Terrapins Connect. Um, say I wasn't interested in messaging Nicole today, but I, you know, thought, oh, she might be someone that, you know, sorry, George, I keep using you, but, um, you know, Nicole reminds me of um, George. I think they have really similar backgrounds. I, I want to reach out to George and let him know. I can, um, in this right corner, bookmark her profile page and come back to it at a later date so I don't have to go searching for her later on. Um, if I'm heavy in the job search process and I'm like, I want to connect with as many people similar to Nicole as possible because she has the exact experience I'm looking for. You can look on the side of um, her platform or her profile and see other people who are similar to Nicole that the platform is going to suggest for you to, um, to connect with. So we did all that just on the homepage. So now I'm going to walk through the actual platform itself. Are there any questions based on what I've shared so far? I appreciate all the chats that have come through. Oh, another one. What industry would I choose if I have an MLIS? 
is IT as close as it gets? Yeah, so I will, thanks Benny for that question. So um, when you make your profile, go ahead and look through the list of industries. You can also type in your own industry if you'd like. Um, so you're more than welcome. There is an other category and you can type that in specifically. Um, but I would try to keep them as open as possible to make sure that, you know, when you're trying to network with folks that, you know, you can keep those windows as open um, if you're willing to do so. But um, there is a spot where you can, can type in um, what your industry is if, if you don't see it on our list. Another question came, oh, great, thanks. Okay, thanks, Benny. So. You're on your homepage. The main re well, let's let's get in the um, chat. Can you tell me what would be your main reason of being on the Terrapins Connect platform? A couple of reasons come to my mind. Is it networking? Is it job search? Is it connecting with you know students? I just want to kind of know what what reasons people might want to be on this platform. Maybe something I'm not thinking about too. Networking for business. Networking, great. Networking, maybe a job search. Fabulous. Career change, awesome. Great, okay. Seeing a lot of similarities, so networking. Um, one thing I didn't mention about, I don't think I mentioned yet about the platform. Um, a lot of people come to me and say, you know, Ellie, you know, LinkedIn exists for a reason. What is Turbans Connect doing, you know, and how is it different from LinkedIn? And I'm sure you all know, having profiles on LinkedIn, folks are on LinkedIn for so many different reasons, right? A lot of people are on LinkedIn to promote themselves or to promote their business and they have every right to do so. I will just say the main difference between LinkedIn and Terrapins Connect is that the folks who are joining Terrapins Connect, their main interest is either networking or mentoring with their fellow Terps. So when someone's making a profile here, it's because they're saying, I want to connect with other people and I'm interested in receiving messages from you. Whereas on LinkedIn, we, we all know that's not always the case. Folks aren't always interested in, you know, getting a cold message in their LinkedIn inbox. So just a quick, quick change. Okay, Muna says networking and job opportunity. All right, we are all on the same page here. So let me take you straight to the networking tab, which is where you all will probably spend the most of your time. So, here you can see um, that there are, there's a lot of things popping up and yay, we already have one of our attendees, her profile is, is already up here. So maybe we'll use you um, as an example. This is fabulous. So I'm on my alumni profile. So as I mentioned, um, there are 7,900 active alumni profiles. Like I mentioned, 12,000 users and there's about 8,000 alum who are on the platform. Um, you'll also see there are people who are online right now. So this is what I consider someone who's like Gchat available, if that is relevant to you all, or Slack available. I'm not sure, you know, everyone uses different systems. So anyone that has a little green dot, that means that they're currently on Terrapins Connect. So if you're thinking, let me strike while, while the iron's hot, um, we can immediately reach out to Eleni right now and chat with her. And this is, this is a little different because the chat function, um, is is different than um, reaching out by message because it's it's just a little bit quicker. So I could immediately reach out to Eleni and say, hey, do you have a minute to chat? I see you're on, online right now. Um, but if I don't want to talk to any active users, those are the first users that the platform the platform's going to pull for me. Um, below, you'll see on this network page, the platform is pulling anyone who is meeting any of my criteria. So my college park criteria, my major criteria, my um, IT experience criteria, and my admissions criteria. So it'll already, you know, tell me who I could potentially reach out to. So you're welcome to use these as a starting point. But here's where you'll want to spend most of your time, most likely. Um, you'll see I can go back to any of the people that I've bookmarked before. Um, I can go to anyone that I've contacted previously. And then here's where we'll start to filter our users. So um, we can filter by location. We can filter by potential major. This might not be as relevant to you all. Um, we can filter by industry. 
And then we can filter by a couple other things, things that people are willing to help with. Again, might not be as relevant to alumni, but um, this, this is really helpful to students. You can filter by company and organization. So say you are looking, let's see if we have any alum who work at Amazon. Um, and then I can choose if it's current, if they're currently working there or they've worked it there in the past. And then I can apply this. Let's see, there's 44 people that have experience working at Amazon. So I can kind of fish through here. I can look through, okay, it looks like um, TJ is working at Amazon. Um, this person has experience at Microsoft, Amazon, Northrop Grumman. Okay, let me look at his profile. And from there on out, you can just kind of go through. So I would say if you're job searching and you're looking to network, um, really utilize the company and organization tab and also use the industry tab. This, this can help you really find folks on the platform. So anyone have questions about this piece? Because I think most folks will be spending a lot of their time here. One other thing to show you, well, just in case any questions are coming through, um, the, I have it in card view, but you can view this in map view. Um, oh no, let me take this out. Um, you can also view it in map view um, if you want to see where alum are. Um, and then you can, I mean, you can obviously filter it by location, but if you want to, you know, see it in map view, I know we have a lot of map people out there. Um, you're available to do that. Okay. Okay, someone said they had access denied. Don't worry, you and I will talk offline. Um, Candy, can the information link for how to access be sent by email today to today's attendees? Absolutely, Candy, I will um, send that to you right after this. Okay, so um, the next area that we will check out. So again, I think you'll spend a lot of your time in networking. Um, there's also a discussion board. So this is, you know, simple, just like your LinkedIn kind of discussion board. You can post job opportunities here. You can post questions you have here. Um, a lot of people who are very involved um, at the Alumni Association or at um, Maryland will post, you know, events that they have going on, um, you know, we have someone marketing their new children's book. Like there's lots of things um, going on. And I will say for the discussion, both students and alumni can see this section. So if you are interested in supporting students, sometimes we have students um, asking questions here saying, does anyone have experience in X industry? I'm looking for an internship. So um, you can always keep an eye out on the discussion board. The resources section is just a helpful section for you um, with, with just a lot of different resources that the Alumni Association offers. There's also a section for Terrapins Connect Best Practices. Um, I did this webinar last year, which is uploaded here. Um, so if you ever want to look back on, you know, what did Ellie say about Terrapins Connect and how I'm supposed to use it, you can always look here. Um, there's also a downloadable document that has kind of best practices for alumni on the platform as well as students. Um, groups is an area and um, group is a, groups is an area, like I mentioned, that you can find other alumni or students that have similar similarities to you. A lot of them are by affinity, industry, or interest. Um, some of them are open, some of them are closed, meaning that you'll have to request to join that group and be approved by the person who is in charge of that group. Um, for anyone who graduated from and the Clark Engineering School or the Smith School of Business, um, they set up different groups um, for their students and alumni to connect. Um, but there's also, you know, uh, broader groups like Terps in Education or Terps in Entrepreneurship, where, um, you know, you can have conversations with students and alumni, women in STEM. So um, always take a look here. It's just, um, you know, another place to find other students and alumni to connect with. Um, I'm going to skip over programs. I'm sorry, Veronica. She's one of our um, staff at Maryland who runs a program, but these are um, specialized communities for mentorship, one-to-one -one mentorship opportunities with students and alumni. If you want to learn more about that, please message me directly. But for the purposes of this conversation, we're just going to leave, let that be. And skip over to opportunities, which is a very, very important part of Terrapins Connect. Um, opportunities is the job board that Terrapins Connect 
offers. This is a new thing in the past year that we've added to the platform. Um, and I'm gonna explain all of the important features of it. So the reason that we have a job board on Terrapins Connect and the reason that it's different than a lot of other job boards out there is because alum can um, post these jobs. Um, if say, let's see, who do I have here? Say Jenny is looking to hire for a job. She can share an opportunity. She can either refer a role or she can hire for a role. Say she's the hiring manager. She wants to hire for this role. Um, you know, she can put in, I'll put in University of Maryland Alumni Association. It'll pull all the information about the University of Maryland here. Um, and the, the exciting part about this is that if a job's posted on Indeed, which um, about 90% of jobs are posted on Indeed, you can just pull all of that information from Indeed here. So um, let's see, are we hiring for anything right now? Social media coordinator, it's on Indeed. It'll immediately pull all the information that's been put on Indeed and you can just basically copy and paste it. I can tag a couple industries so folks can know what the industries are, start date, stop date, um, job requirements. If you want this to obviously be visible to job seekers and you just have to answer a couple more questions but it pulls in all this information and does the hard part for you. So let me not post that job, leave. Um, and so when my job is posted, you can see who posted the job I'll pull one up. You can see who posted the job. Oh, surprise, surprise, it was me. Um, you can see who posted the job and you can see if any other people that are on Terrapins Connect work there. Again, this is probably not that exciting for everyone. It's very exciting for me uh, because I think it just brings that extra layer of Terp connection. So if I was really interested in this director of venture development position at Maryland, I could click on Ellie's profile and connect with Ellie and say, hey, Ellie, I saw that you posted this job, you know, from one Terp to another. I'd love to learn more about what this job entails. I can also go to let me get in another example. Um, I can also go to this um, Amazon job. Okay, I see this job was posted. I'm really interested in this software development engineer. There are um, 24 people who have experience at Amazon. I can connect with any of these people who have profiles on Terrapins Connect and connect with them and say, hey, I see that you have experience working at Amazon. There's a job posted for the software development engineer, I believe, and I'd love to pick your brain about, you know, what it's like working at Amazon or, you know, just get, giving you that inside scoop to the position itself. I see your questions come through. Um, I do not have that tab. How do I get access to that? Um, Amola, so, and please correct me if I'm not pronouncing um, your name correctly. Um, you, as I'm assuming you are an alum, or you are faculty or staff. Um, uh, but I'm a current uh, graduate student. Okay, um, as you and I can talk offline and talk about ways that we can um, get this visible for your profile. The job opportunities are is exclusive to um, alum and faculty and staff profiles, but since you're a graduate student, um, we can work something out there, but the, um, the job board is not open to students specifically. It's only open to alumni. But um, let's talk offline because if you graduated from Maryland and are now getting your graduate degree, that's that's something we could talk through as well. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Sure. Um, so the other thing that I will say, we have over 2,000 jobs that are posted. If anyone's familiar with um, careers for Terps, Anyone who has their camera on, is that something that's familiar to you? It's completely fine if it's not. No, okay, great. Well, just so you know, the um, University Career Center also has a job board that features um, jobs for alumni. A lot of recruiters 
Um, and a lot of companies go to that job board to post jobs as well. So we have an integration with them so that any of the jobs that are posted there also show up here. So not only do you have those jobs coming in from recruiters and other companies that um, the university has established relationships with, you also have jobs that are posted um, directly by your fellow alum. So that is the job piece. If anyone, and again, same filters up here for um, filters that you have for the networking option. So you can filter by location, by industry, by job type, um, and you can search by job referrals or just direct job posts. So I will pause for questions. Um, but if not, we are nearing the end. So I'll go through the last two tabs and then Okay, something's come through. Could you explain the target applicant pool? Um, hi, Polly. Potentially, let me see. Filter under more filter things. I was like, where is the target applicant pool? So, great question, Polly. So, um, the, when making this job board, I wanted it to be an exclusive space for alumni. A lot of job boards um, that I've seen get pretty bogged down with jobs for potential students or recent graduates. And I wanted this job board to um, focus more on mid-level to um, senior level positions for alumni. So um, we have taken out the target applicant pool to be anything but alumni. So um, usually under here, it would say alumni it, or it would say students. Um, but so for this, um, the purposes of this job board, it, it really is only alumni. Could you briefly review the sign-in method? Bill, yes, I will go back to that at the end. Ooh, another question. For current UMD students, is it better for them to register with a UMD email or a personal? Great question, Eleanor. Um, UMD students should register with their UMD email and they can use their single sign-on, um, SSO, to sign on so you don't have to create a new username and a new password. Okay, last two things will be pretty quick. Just the events page, if you're interested in attending any um, events that the university is putting on, most of these are hosted by the Alumni Association. Obviously, you can see a lot of um, the remaining career week things we have going on. We have Terrapin Love Week coming up, but you can check out all the events um, that we have going on in person or um, virtually. And then the last tab is the share tab. If you wanna share this with your fellow alum or you know, you're interested in um, you know, promoting uh, Terrapins Connect on LinkedIn or something like that, you can send referral messages. Um, you can copy your referral link and then, and then share on any of these three places. How do we post a job that current students may see? That's a great question, Paul. So as of right now, you can post that job on, I'll chat you um, a link for where you can post jobs for students, or if you wanna do it on Terrapins Connect so that students can reach out to you and connect with you one-on-one, -on -one, you can do that on the um, discussion board and just type in here, job opportunity for students. You can insert a link, you can um, attach or upload a file, things like that. and tell students to connect with you directly. Um, if you also, you know, if you are really adamant about wanting to find a student through this platform, um, I also have the ability to send out emails through the platform. I do that often when we're looking for interns at the Alumni Association or things like that. Um, I can send an email out on your behalf and say, hey, you know, um, Oh my gosh, I already forgot. Paul is looking for a student. Here's an internship opportunity. If you want to connect with him, like here's a link to his profile on Terrapins Connect. Again, I won't do that unless that's something you really want, but I have the ability to do that. Okay, um, that would be great. Okay, Paul, we'll talk offline. Okay, so I went through the entire platform. Um, do we have any other questions for me? Um, was this helpful? Does this give you a better idea of how to connect with folks on the platform? I am all ears. Helpful, thank you. Okay. I'll wait another second or two to see if there's questions. When you posted that job, um, yes. Lisa, the share opportunity link, it had a drop down menu. So, what if what you need to write in for, I think it was either location or Something is not in the drop down menu. Let's look. Let's look together. 
Um, and you actually, is it Kaya? Yes. Kaya brought up a great point that I, I wanted to um, also remind you. So I know we talked a lot about your preferences and things over here, um, but you'll also see this bell. We'll just show you any notifications that you have. I have a, a lot of um, crazy notifications, but um, this will show you if you have any notifications that you did post a job, it'll tell you, um, you know, you had one application for this job or you have one message that came through or so-and-so posted on the discussion board and they tagged you in it. That's where you'll get your notifications. And here's where all of your messages will come through. Again, in your preferences, you can set up to receive an email when you have a notification or I don't recommend this to myself or anyone, or you can just remember to sign into Terrapins Connect to check your messages. Usually it's helpful to get that little ping, um, just like LinkedIn can ping you when you have a message come through. But back to your point, Kaya. Um, so let's see, you wanted to share an opportunity. I'm hiring for a role um, and we're gonna do it at the University of Maryland. And we have a couple roles open. Actually, I'm hiring, I am hiring for this role. Let's, um, Let's do that. So it's not remote. And you said there was a drop down at the bottom. So start date is ASAP. I can copy and paste a couple more job requirements. I think it was up at the top, not the beginning. Oh, oh not yeah. the bottom. So um, there. Location. I think it's either location or job title role. One of them had a drop down when you looked at it for the that first job you had, the one that you this posted. One. Um, the one you posted, maybe that, yeah. So what if what you're looking for is not there for the company or, oh, that's you posting, I'm confused. What is so, that? Yeah, so um, as the poster, I get to pick the company or organization and this will pull from my past experience because I'm saying that I'm the hiring manager. So it'll pull from, from my current employer. I get it. Yeah, so, but if you're referring, there were two options, hire or refer. If you're referring a role, then this will be something that um, you can type into since it's not your specific position. Is that clear? I feel like we're good. Cool. Okay. Fabulous. Any other, I'm hiding my chat. Oh, we have a couple of chats that came through. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I have a couple of requests. I'm going to put terrapinsconnect.umd.edu. That's going into the chat. That is how you get into this platform. I'm also going to put leg.umd.edu. That is my personal email address. You can connect with me if you have questions about the platform. Um, I'm wondering, was there anything else I could, I could share with you? I... The recording will be put up on our Career Week playlist. I'm trying to make sure I went through everyone's requests of info you might need. So I opened a window for this Terrapins connect.umd.edu. Yes. And I tried to go to login. So I X'd out the tab and then I um, signed up and then it had that um, CAS, what it was. So I did that, got my username, tried to go back in, hit this single sign on button. Yeah. And it's just been circling. I keep refreshing. And I don't know if people are on it or if there's an issue with it because all the other pages that I've opened, I haven't had this problem. So I don't know. Okay. I don't think it's- Are you, are you um, faculty staff? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm Interesting. alum. Interesting. You're alum. I, um, if, I'll stay on and troubleshoot with you. Um, okay. I'll stay on and troubleshoot with you. Um, Thank you everyone else for joining. I really appreciate you um, staying on it and your commitment to being on Terrapins Connect. I dropped my email in the chat. Um, I dropped the link to the platform. Please, please, please reach out to me if you want any support on the platform. Um, I know Paul and I discussed maybe sending an email or something. Um, if he's looking for students for an internship, I am more than happy to um, walk through um, you know, any issues you have. So that is all I have for you today. If you want to stay on, I'm happy to stay on till 11 and, and troubleshoot any personal um, or individual problems that folks are having on the platform. But otherwise, thank you so much for joining. And if we don't see you at another Career Week event, because the week is almost over, thanks for joining us. And um, we will talk to you all soon.
Okay. So Ellie, I just refreshed and I, it just gets to the page where you sign in. So now yes. I'm clicking single sign on, right? So can I, can I just stop you quick? Um, yeah, sure. The single sign on is only for current students and faculty and staff. Okay, because I have a sign on as an alum, so I can't use that then. So you can use, um, you should use the email and password that you created as an alum. Okay. So yeah, the, the single sign on will, will mess up because, um, uh, let me stop recording. People probably don't want to hear this at the end. <laughs>